I'm here at Voco Hotel where I'm about to meet our favorite Indian matchmaker from Netflix. Let's see what she has for us today. I just wrapped up watching season three of the show and you guys talk about your beautiful marriage story and how you started and where you ended up and how you ended up becoming Seema Aunty and matchmaker. So can you tell us about your marriage and how it strengthened your bond as a couple and how it led to today? Hello Dubai, we are so excited to be here. Uh, we are married last 40 years and on the 24th of May, we celebrated our 40th anniversary and for that we had gone uh, to Sri Lanka and uh, from there we came here and we are very excited. We have been married 40 years and ours was an arranged marriage. I was 19 and a half and my husband was 21 and it was an arranged marriage and just we met for 30 minutes, that's all. And marriage is between two families. Both the families went to each other's house. They saw, they saw the boy is good, the family is good, they have good business, they have good family values, everything. And they matched the horoscope because in India, we believe a lot in horoscopes. So they matched the horoscope and everything was fine. And then we got married and just we met for 30 minutes, that's all. And we are both, I mean, uh, North and South, we can say, our both the hobbies, our food habits, our many things are very different. But we are, at, we are flexible, we appreciate each other's strength and uh, love and uh, I mean that is very important. Love is very important, respect is very important. These all qualities are there. We are a little flexible, we are adjusting and these are the qualities. So we are living happily married. I'll say one thing, Seema says that we are north and south. But let me tell you, north and south only attracts. Both north and both south don't attract. So you get the point from me that you have to be different. When we're looking at partners, we never look for someone that's similar to us. We're always looking for someone that is the opposite of us so that we learn some things, we experience new things. Yeah. So um, I also, like during the show, you actually also say, because when we're looking at partners, as we grow older, we have more demands. We want more characteristics. We want certain aspects of personality, of traits, of even lifestyle. So, but you always say this, uh, you will never get 100%. You'll only get 60 to 80% and you have to compromise and have an open mind. So what type of things that you think that people from this day and age need to compromise? Because I know a lot of people in the show were looking at looks, they were looking at location, they were looking at age. So what do you suggest that we, we compromise? I would say all my clients that don't be picky, have lo lower your expectations. And when you see a partner, you see in your checklist what is going to fit in 60%. You want looks, you want education, you want compatibility, you want family background, what you want in that. In the 60%, you, you do your checklist in that if whatever fits your criteria, you should tell yes and don't be picky and you should move further. And while staying together, you have to make 100%. That is a uh, guru mantra or the, uh, I mean, the importance of a good, happy married life. And I would say all my clients that little you have to be flexible, little you have to be understanding, drop your ego, have patience, and uh, respect your partner, love your partner. Then you see how your, all the, I mean, the full family, the married life will be so smooth and happy. So this are the little, little things that if you follow, then everything will go and adjust your family life and your individual life. So these things, if you follow, then you'll never have problem in life. I think it's very relevant as well in any culture that has, uh, like, comes from ethnic background, comes with, with heritage and tradition that is similar to the one that we see in India. Like here, in the exa for example, we have a beautiful saying that uh, you don't just marry the person, you marry their families. But how relevant is it in this day and age when people live away from, these fam from the families, they live in a different city sometimes, not only household. So do you still think that this saying is relevant in today's day and age? I would say that family values are very, very important. What I've shown in the show, that our traditional values, if we follow this, because these values are coming since thousands of years. So there is some important institution in this family that why the elders and why the people have told this, that loving, sharing, caring, giving, these all things are not there in youngsters nowadays. So I would tell the youngsters, have these qualities, giving, sharing, taking, caring, loving. All these uh, this, uh, values, if you keep intact, then you will never have problem. And manage your, uh, I mean, uh, adjust your, uh, 
personal life and even your individual life. You have to balance that thing. Then you'll never have the problem. And be patient. That is a very important key of a good, I mean, life for everybody, the married or unmarried, have a patience. That is very important. I can tell that. As a business person, I would say that when we have a partnership in a business or when we have a JV in a business, we do the same thing. We have to adjust with our JV partners. We have to adjust with our partners. And there we do it very beautifully because it's a commercial aspect and uh, it's a, uh, you can say, enterprise. So that is why we do it. At, at home, we forget about it. So that's the same thing applies at home also. So I would say that uh, uh, business is the extension of home, actually. So home comes first. That's very beautiful because it is true that, you know, like, it is, uh, people don't separate nowadays their work life from their marriage life and they bring the problems from work to the household and that creates a lot of problems. So what would you say, what advice would you give for people for, uh, to have a long last successful marriage like you to have? See, we are since married since 40 years, but we appreciate each other's quality. We help each other. We try to adjust each other. If we have, because problems every family will have, every married couple will have some other other problem or some other, I mean, thought process, hobbies are different and food habits are different, culture is different, something or the other happens. But we both adjust each other and many times we compromise each other. I would say compromise, understanding each other and we appreciate each other's strength. We help each other, we give space to each other and we both have, pay I, I have little less patience, sorry to tell, but my husband has more patience. So if you follow all these things, then we get a balanced life then. Well, uh, again, coming from the business, I would say that uh, in the machinery, we have the gears and the gears do not align uh, in the initial stage. They always rattle, but after some time, they match. So it's like uh, matching the two gears. So initially you will have problems like the two new gears and when they start rolling, then start rolling and the life becomes beautiful. So, uh, what the outside world is similar to, it happens in your home also. The home is the first thing that you see. So, you should always balance your home and also balance your professional life. Talking about professional life, you both have created this enterprise of a successful show on Netflix, but now you also has re have released a single called Shadi Ki Tayyari Hai, right? So I just saw it, it's amazing. Can you tell me more about it and why did you create this single? First I was a matchmaker, then the show becomes hate successful. Then I started giving talks. Now I'm giving talks in Stanford, Yale and uh, UIC. And now I'll be going to all big universities. I'm giving a talk to all the youngsters about the family values and all. And now, I always thought, since childhood I wanted to sing. But always I thought, okay, I think I, I won't be successful or my voice is not for singing or that way I thought. Then after the show, the whole world started loving me, respecting me. They're loving my voice and they're loving the way how I talk on the show. They're saying, we love you because the way you talk, you explain. And we love your voice also. Then I thought, okay, I want to sing a song. And my husband supported me a lot. Then, you, because I'm in a shadi ka marriage thing, I thought first I will start with the marriage song. Raat suhani ali hai, mehndi bhi lagali hai. Aajao na chopil ke, shadi ki tayyari hai. Bhabi hai, bhaiya hai, ready sajni sahiya hai. Sajay dhaje hai, jach rahe, gori gori bhaiya hai. Dur dur se aaye hai, sundar tofe laaye hai. Mama, mami, cha 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 chi, na che na che na cha aaye hai. Sahilya piyari piyari hai, kahi lehenga kahi saari hai. For those of us like who don't know uh, Hindi, can you explain to us what the lyrics mean? Everyone has to get ready for the wedding. So for that, all the relatives, the uh, material uh, uncle, the aunt, the aunt, friends, uncle, brother, brother's brother, wife, brother's wife, everyone, niece, nephew, all all have assembled, and now get ready for the wedding. And for the wedding, you are wearing lehenga. Lehenga means the nice... A trouser, Indian trouser. Tro you are wearing bangles. 
and all and Sari. you are getting ready for that. So all that you have uh, prepared yourself and the, you are all ready for a wedding. So this is basically that getting ready for a wedding. So uh, in India we have many uh, festivities in the wedding. So that is Mehendi, Haldi, uh, Sangeet. Mehendi is to put henna. Haldi is uh, turmeric they put on the groom, bridegroom and And we have, groom, we have Sangeet that is a musical night. Musical night is Then there. we have Bharat where there is a procession. So there are all, so many festivities are there and you can celebrate all of them and in the same song. And this goes matches with all the functions, all the functions of the wedding. So one can really enjoy in every festivity, wherever they want to play, they can play this and it's only about three minutes. So, uh, and one can dance on it very well. I've seen the celebrations, I've, I've been lucky enough to attend some. They're very, very beautiful, very colorful and very lively. And I hope that we would be seeing more of that in the next seasons coming up. Yes. So I wanted to say, What's next for Indian Matchmaker? Season 1, Season 2, Season 3 has happened. It I was wrong. appearing for a, a very few times, but most it is, is Seema. And uh, let's uh, cross fingers that there will be more seasons for people uh, to watch and uh, to get uh, more uh, insight about you know, arranged marriages. There you have it. All you need to know for a successful long marriage from Seema and Anup Taparia themselves. I'm Seema Taparia from Mumbai. Watch us on DXB today.